Today I just wanted to make a video on um, making tabs like on a box. I found an easier way, at least for me, and I just wanted to show how I did it. So I'm just going to drag out a square, duplicate it, and so this, <clears throat> say this is the two pieces you want to fix together. I mean, normally it's more than two. So what I'm going to do is the wood that I'm using is 4.1 millimeters thick. So I'm going to drag out this box. But what I'm going to do is double the size of that. So instead of 4.1, I'm going to put width 8.2. And then the height, I'll just, I'll make it 50. You can make it whatever height you want. And then, like I say, could you use a few? You can press Control and D and you can duplicate them. But just what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, because this way at least they'll stay, you know, neat in a row. I'm going to create 10 of them and say OK. And then press Control and D to duplicate them. And these ones below, because I want it to be a nice tight fit, you want the height, you know, with the curve removed. So for me, because it's getting removed from both sides, I'm going to put 49.6. So now, just to remember, I'm just going to put an L and an S for large and small. Because that's one thing when you do it like this. You know, you want the right one on the right side. So now, all you, all you do is as long as you, you pick this up from the middle node and you slide it down here and you'll see it lock in at a certain point there. So now, you know, that's locked in the centre here. Now if you take a small one and lock it in this side in the centre, which is there, and then all you got to do is click that, you know, click the two of them and remove everything from the inside and now you've got your tab sticking out and then click these two and remove everything from the outside and now you've got your tab sticking in and if you measure this it would be the 4.1 millimeters that I need that way and this one is the 50 millimeters and then this is 4.1 as well but this is the 49.6 so it's got the curve removed so now these two would fit together perfectly but I just wanted to show because that's a pretty quick way. I mean, you can. Uh, I'm going to drag just quickly these out. So you like these ones? You can rotate it by 90, and once you've got one this way, you can duplicate that then, and you just you know drop that one, and you can actually, like you know, if you want, you can select all three of these, group them together. So if you had a big piece that had a lot of tabs and then you can just, you know, you select them and select that and say everything on the inside. Now you've got all your tabs. Like I say, you just want to make sure you take them from the right pile, otherwise they're not going to fit properly. But yeah, even it snaps that way and then you could just, you know, press 90 and it'll flip it and then duplicate drag that down and you can either do them one at a time just by saying everything from the outs oh if that happens you selected them around the wrong way so really you want to select this one first if you're going to do it that way and then say everything from the outside I'm gonna I don't think if you try and select two yeah it won't let you it'll only let you weld it so either you have to group them and then it allow you to do it. Yep, but I just wanted to show that because that's actually an easier way. And you'll see if I line this up now. Go up a tiny bit. You can see the curve's been removed. Yeah, so that would be a nice tight fit. But like, you know, if you've got a lot, you can just keep taking from here. And like I say, if you get short on these, just Control and D and just duplicate a few. So you don't have to keep drawing them out. But yeah, I just wanted to show that because that was an easier way for me to do the tabs. 
So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.